So Coop is a digital tool that lets us understand how the urban environment will change when we design future cities. In other words, we can help uh, the users uh, see and visualize differently what is the impact on the urban environment and thus we can contribute to avoid uh, the failure of designing cities which are not successful or adapted to the to the needs of the users or the citizens. No? We can assess topics like uh, which areas of the district, of the unbuilt district, are for example too windy for certain types of uses like uh, drinking a coffee, being outside, or for example which open spaces like parks will not have enough incidence of sunlight. From the side of DCS and HACU, what we consider as an advantage to have such a tool is that we can, in, in, in this environment of a hands-on interaction with multiple types of actors uh, involved in the realm of planning, we could accelerate this usually lengthy process which uh, is involved by, by, by planning of, of urban scale districts uh, and then we can reduce significantly this lengthy and time uh, extensive process uh, through a faster decision making uh, uh, approach. No? And ultimately the idea is that Coop can contribute to accelerate this transition of planning into an era of digitalization when we have so much data collected in cities and then it can be transferred and, and let's say be consulted faster in, in such a platform. No? So one vision of uh, how Coop can be further uh, used in the, in the future is for example adapting it to a more academic context. Imagine that we can uh, provide the students who are preparing to be planners in the future to uh, learn how to think differently, how to assess uh, maybe their, their projects and proposals in a different way. Uh, definitely this can be a tool that can help into that transition.